All right, welcome everyone. Let's uh, let's start this here real quick. I don't have a camera. I'm gonna fix that in a minute though. Grab that. Actually, put that back on. There we go. There I am. Here I am. All right. Let's uh, let's play this game that I know little to nothing about. All right, yeah, let's just play normal. Bow, bow, bow. So far, I like the music though. That's uh, that's a plus. Daddy really is. Daddy's really late. I even got a message from the guild saying he'd be home today too. Cetra's gone traveling around the kingdom on some kind of training. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll just practice with my staff a bit more before dinner. Hey, I'm home. Yeah, it's a voice acting game. How you doing, Lemons? Daddy! Hopefully I don't play this little girl whole game now. It might get aggravating. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Estelle. Did you take good care of the house while I was away? <laughs> of course I did. Did you run into any trouble, Daddy? I didn't get hurt fighting the bad monsters, did you? Nope. I'm as fit as a fiddle. That reminds me, though. I brought you a present. Really? What kind of present? A new fishing pole? Sneakers? Something for my training? Maybe. I raised you wrong, Estelle. Aren't little girls supposed to like clothes and jewelry? I like pretty clothes. But they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you go play outside with it on. Anyway, Daddy. What's with the big blanket? Is that my present? Oh, you're a sharp one. Now why don't you come have a look? She brought me a boy. Well, I'm pretty sure she's too young to have kids. What? Well, here you are. Quite a handsome boy, don't you think? Well, this got weird. What? what? Why is my present a boy? Don't make such a fuss, or you'll wake him up. Wake him up? You mean, he's still alive? <laughs> Apparently she thought it was a dead boy. Okay. He looks kind of dead if you ask me. I've treated his wounds, so he should be in stable condition. In the meantime, however, we'll need to let him rest. I'll put him to bed. So if you wouldn't mind heating a kettle of water on the stove, I'd appreciate it. Okay! He sure sleeps soundly. And he almost looks the same age as me. This is my first time I've seen some... Seen black hair like that, too. He certainly does have a nice head of dark hair. And a pair of amber eyes to go with it. Hmm. That's nice and all, but how about come clean it? <clears throat> how about you come clean and fess up? Fess up? Yeah. Who is this kid anyway? And why is he hurt? Why did you bring him to our house? Is is he a legitimate child or something? Did you betray mommy? It's way too smart for our own good. Where have you been picking up these kind of words? No doubt. From Chorarazard, I assume. Yep, that's right. For heaven's sake, that girl's going to get me into trouble one of these days with all her nonsense. 
actually. I just met this boy while I was out on business. And I don't even know his name. You mean racer business? Something like that. Oh, look. Huh? He's waking up. His eyes really are the color of amber. Where, where am I? You're awake now, are you? Welcome to my humble home. You'll be safe here, so please, just try to rest. What are you trying to pull? Huh? You must be out of your mind. Why didn't you just leave me there to die? Why now? That's a question I don't know how to answer. Does things, does things just work out that way work for you? Don't toy with me, Cassius Bright. you have any idea what you're getting yourself involved in? Hey! Oh shit. You're sure shouting a lot for someone who's supposed to be hurt. Running your mouth like that. It's gonna make it longer for your body to heal. Just who are you supposed to be? I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. She's my daughter. Don't you remember me telling you that? I have a daughter your age. Now that you mention it. Wait a minute. I'm not trying to change this. Up. Oh shit. Ah! Quit yelling! Alright, alright, I'm ready. But you jumping on me like that isn't gonna make me heal any faster either. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? Look, jumping on me like that is just going to make things worse. Do I hear ye yelling? <clears throat> Never mind, just forget it. That's a word of advice. It would be wise not to argue with Estelle while you're in this house. Even I wouldn't stand a chance if I made her mad enough. Oh, Dad's afraid of his daughter. Yeah, I can see that. By the way, aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Your name. You know, that thing that people call you? I told you mine already, so... Don't you think it'd be unfair and impolite not to tell me yours? Seems like the logical thing to do, if you ask me. Trying to hide it now would only serve to your detriment. My name is... Oh, you're hilarious. You are hysterical. Does guy actually have a name or do I, do I just put my name in? Oh damn, opening cinematic. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure uh, they were stretching the budget on this one and the same person voices all the characters. They're pretty trash, too. They ain't no Scott McNeil, that's for sure. Is that really loud for everyone and me, or just me? Yeah, you voiced them off. <laughs> Falling asleep already, guys. Oh, damn. Is that my teammates?
خب Imagine the kids find someone important. That guy's got a big sword. I wonder if he's related to Cloud. Cinematic, uh, cinematic awards, anyways. That's for sure. Bum ba da ba ba ba. Next day. So they all wake up. Cassius is making eggs. Oh, Estelle. Looks older. Ugh. It's so bright in here. Ah. I slept like a rock. Hmm. That must mean it's Dad's turn to cook this morning. I wonder if that means Joshua is still in bed. Ah, guess that's a no. But I guess I better get myself ready then, too. So is that like a three-year jump? Definitely looks like time has gone past, that's for sure. Huh. <clears throat> nice, Joshua. Bravo! Good morning, Estelle. I hope I didn't wake you. Nah, I was already up when I heard you started playing. I can't believe <clears throat> how awake you are, though. Even the roosters still have bags under their eyes. Now, <clears throat> not that I mind. <clears throat> what with the siren song of yours gently lulling this beautiful woman from her slumber? What do you mean, woman? We're the same age, and I'm hardly a man. Tiss, tiss, tiss. How wrong you are, jo Joshua. We may be the same age, but I am clearly the woman of the house. And that makes you something like my loyal follower, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. How fortunate for you. <laughs> you can at least try and sound a tiny bit sincere. It really is a nice tune, though. Cheerful, yet somehow wishful. I like your other songs, too, of course, but... This one's my favorite. What's it called again? The Whereabouts of Light. That's right. The Whereabouts of Light. I wish I could play the harmonica like you, Joshua. Sadly, it's a lot harder than it looks. Compared to what it takes to use, your, to use a staff, I think the harmonica is much easier. Really, just a matter of concentration. You're probably right. I guess my problem is just that if I don't do something that you 
freezes my whole body, I start to feel drowsy. Okay, playing the harmonica is fine and all, but how about going, getting some exercise too? All your hobbies are still sitting around. <laughs> kind of stuff like reading and music. No girl is gonna be impressed with just that. Well, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Although, I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about your hobbies. I mean, what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing, collecting bugs, and has a fetish for sports shoes? <sighs> That's enough talk about hobbies for now. And for your information, I graduated from bug collecting. Graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. Really? I'll believe that when I stop finding beetles in the hallway. Hey Estelle! Joshua! Aw, they're just like siblings now. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Is breakfast ready? <laughs> it's ready and waiting. Well, why don't you both? Both of you hurry down before it gets cold. Okay. I'm on my way. Thanks for the grub, Dad. Oh, I'm stuffed. Are you eating or inhaling, Estelle? <laughs> like people say, it's to eat and sleep. A lot, grow a lot. Well, make sure you've got enough to eat. But don't forget to pour that energy into our work, too. That reminds me, you two are finishing up your training at the guild today, are you not? That's right. Be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. And once we're finished, we'll be bracers just like you, Dad. That means I'm going to let you treat me. I'm not going to let you treat me like a kid anymore either. You still lack understanding, Estelle. How could how can you only become a junior bracer in the beginning, or in other words, a trainee? You want to be treated like an adult. Then you should work extra hard in your training and become a full-fledged bracer. Well, I'm not afraid of a little hard work. Just you watch and see what I'm capable of, Dad. I'll be so successful that it won't be long before I pass you too. That's the spirit. Let's see what you're made of then, shall we? Let's not start a rivalry here, you two. And Estelle. Keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on today, remember? Uh... Wait, what, a test? Please tell me that you didn't forget about the test, Estelle. You know, the one that checks whether or not we've mastered the skills that we've been learning in training? Don't you remember Tashara saying <clears throat> that if we failed, we'd be stuck with a ton of extra homework? Crap! Totally forgot! Now that you mention it, I guess I kind of remember her saying something like that. Don't sweat it. I'm sure we'll manage somehow or other. I honestly don't know how you survived this long, Estelle. Your brain is like a sieve. Papa is sad. How could any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic over personality? <laughs> You're the one that raised me, so I definitely got it from you. I swear, the two of you act so much alike, but whatever. We should probably head over to the guild soon, Estelle. The Shara's going to be waiting for us. Sounds like a plan. You know how crazy scary she gets when someone keeps her waiting. Oh, before I go, forgot it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything in particular you'd like to eat, Dad? Any requests? Hmm, something I'd like to eat, huh? How about Ron-style scallop fish? In a balsamic vinegar sauce. That sounds way too fancy. Uh, what's, what's that? I 
think that's a little more than Estelle's cookie scales can handle. Or our stomachs. You're right. I just wanted to see what kind of reaction I could get. I'll just have the usual fried fish and omelets. No need for anything fancy. But do try to make something edible. Oh, rude. But I can't actually say he's wrong. Actually, I don't have any favor to ask for you, Adams. Actually, I do have a favor to ask for you, Adams. I'd like you to pick up a copy of the Liberal News from the General Goods Store. They're supposed to be getting the latest edition in today. Got it. One copy of Liberal News from the General Store. If there's any money left over, you can have it as your allowance. However, that means no wasteful spending. Alright, thanks, Dad. Okay, we're heading out. See you later, Dad. Work hard and give Shirazarard my regards. No, I don't need to talk to them. No, let's go. I'm just clicking on things to see if I can get any free shit. Always looking for free stuff, you know? Sometimes I hide it in barrels in the jump. That was the highway. Uh, I imagine it's gonna teach me the combat here in a minute. good time. Not too early or not too late either. We just barely graduated from Sunday school. I never dreamed we'd have to study so hard to become bracers. <laughs> well, you're in luck today. It's our last day of training. Truth be told, though, you're the one who signed up to be bracer in the first place, so I don't know why you'd expect to get away with any less effort. Yeah, I guess I did. <clears throat> Alright, then. Let's get to it. And make it through the last hazing from Sir Usher. <clears throat> you look ready to me. Let's go meet... Shiraha at the Bracer Guild. Over there, then. Uh, I'll get arms and guards. No good. That's the wrong button. There we go. Good morning, Mr. Ronan. Hello there, Estelle and Joshua. You are rather early today. Did you come to buy a new pair of shoes? Now that you mention it, uh, are there any new ones in stock? You know, like the newest Strages? Unbelievable. I've actually already forgotten why we came here. We're not here to shop. We're supposed to be buying a copy of Liberal News for Dad, right? Uh, of course. <laughs> I've always been a big collector of those shoes, haven't you, Estelle? I'm afraid that the new regs aren't out yet. After the latest issue of the Liberal News, though, I should have one running around soon. Noon. Noon, huh? That's right, in the middle of our training at the Guild House. We'll stop by again after our training is over. Sure, I'll be waiting for you. Alright, I guess uh, I come back there and my training's over. Uh, let's go to the Guild. There you two are. Good morning, Estelle. 
Good morning, Joshua. Morning, Aina. Good morning. Is Shara here already? Yes, she's waiting for you upstairs. Once you finish today's training, they'll finally be recognized as members of the Bracer Guild. Good luck to both of you. Thanks. We'll do our best. It's gonna be our badass instructor. Charles Gerard. I don't even I I can't imagine I'm pronouncing that right. <clears throat> the star and the hanged man. The hermit and the magician. The last of all inversion through the wheel of fortune. This is a difficult combination. How should I appropriate this? Good morning, Chira. Well, it isn't Estelle and Joshua. This is a rare occasion for the both of you to show up so early. Since it's my last day of training, I figured why not? I'm ready to get this show on the road and become a bracer myself. I'll give you credit for your enthusiasm. I'm going to work you hard today in every way I can think of to make sure that high spirited attitude of yours holds up. Hope you're ready. I can feel that enthusiasm dripping already. Why you? Every time I teach you something, you somehow manage to forget it. This training is my way of trying to keep some of that information in your head instead of letting it Drip out your ears like it usually does. Wow, Joshua! Sarah's picking on me! Don't worry, Sarah. Well, Estelle may hate studying and I and rarely ever does her homework. Acts rashly, is overly naive, and has a tendency to s stick her nose in to everything. Her instincts are sharp, so I'm sure she'll pick up on how to use an armament some practice eventually, probably. I guess there's not much I can do now except hope for the best. Hold on a sec, Joshua. Somehow, I get the feeling you weren't standing up for me. Well, that's odd. I'm positive I described all the best traits accurately. Whatever. By the way, Tara, what are you trying to predict with your tarot cards? My face was really intent. Oh, this? I was just getting a bad grade about what might happen in the near future. Unfortunately, I seem to have been in the right mindset to interpret the cards correctly. You couldn't read the cards? Now that's surprising to hear. Actually, the more profound the meaning of the cards, the more difficult they become to inter interpret. But that's not important now. I think it's time we start your final training. I'll give you a brief rundown of all the information we've covered in the previous training. This is the minimal level of knowledge the bracer have in order to function effectively. And Estelle, make sure you pay a special close attention to what I'm going to say. Aye aye. Uh, I should probably learn all these things. So I have no idea what any of them are. Seeds, septium installed, 
although it's only seen about 50 years since the invention. These devices play an integral role in all facts of life, from lights, heaters, and other everyday products to weapons, magic, and even airships. The connection this technology performed is commonly known as the Global Revolution. Investigative and combat specialists who work to protect civilians and maintain the stability of their respective regions. Hey, thank you very much, Lee Cole, and thank you for stopping by. Uh, I've heard a lot of great things about this game, so I feel like uh, I'm probably going to enjoy it. They aid the community in various ways, such as exterminating monsters, preventing crime, finding lost items. Scorning people and goods. The Bracer Guild, which has established branches across the continent, manages the affairs of the Bracers in each region. But the Liberal Kingdom. The Kingdom of Liberal, in which we live, sits in the western half of Zamarian continent and abands with the nature deep rooted traditions. Is proud to be one of the leading procedures of Septium on the continent and is known for its high level of technology used to develop orbits. Orbit technology has also been a key pillar of support for Liberal in protecting its independence as it has contained, it <coughs> contained with neighboring nations. Contended with neighboring nations. Ten years ago, when Liberal was invaded by the Empire, it was the use of orbital powered airships that saved the kingdoms from defeat. Consequently, even now, our relationships with the Empire is somewhat sensitive. But thanks to the Queen's political finances, Liberal enjoys peace. Alright, I guess uh, that's all she's gonna tell me about. I thought the, the quiz was gonna be like combat, not questions, so. Got a mountain of stuff to do today. I'll let you off the hook this time with a condensed review. I'm going to speed things up now and move on to the practical portion of your training. Uh, Rara, how is today's practical training any different from the training we've done before? Since it's practical, that means you'll be experiencing things firsthand. Therefore, I'm going to have the both of you run through everything as it was for a real bracer job. So, what you're saying is there won't be any studying at the desk involved. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. This time, you have to go out and make a physical effort to accomplish your task. I'll make sure to have you work up a sweat so you hope you're ready. Yeah! That's seriously just what the doctor ordered! I didn't know what was going to do. If I had to sit another day with my tush parked on a desk, I guess I got all worried for nothing. Well, suddenly, we're all bright-eyed, bright and cheerful as though. Let's just hope that smile on your face lasts until the end of today's training. Let's get cracking on your first objective, shall we? Let's have it! The first objective will be to confirm the details of the job you'll be performing. For that, there's something that we need to give you both. Aina, are you ready? Yes, they are. Alright, it's you. Go get one for yourselves. These are very important, so make sure not to lose them. Bracer Notebooks. Okay. Bracer Notebook serves as the official way to record the status of your current jobs. Also, anything you may hear of anything you 
me find out where. That was a confusing sentence. These kind of trivial things can often become clues. No matter how insignificant something may seem, I always write it down. Understood. Crap, that sounds like it's going to be a pain. Good thing you got someone who'll do all the work for you. Oh, um, please tell me. It was my ears playing tricks on me because I swear only I only got one response. Uh, I'm sure there were two. No, it wasn't. Keeping an accurate account of events is an important duty for all bracers. So, get with the program and stop trying to make this entry more than it really is still. Okay, okay, I got it. Make sure you do. Alright then, let's begin. Look over by the door. And see that there's a bulletin board standing there. First, I want you to go check the job description post in there. When the bulletin board is approached, uh, exclamation mark will appear. Pressing the OK button will display the job list. By selecting the job names on the list, you can view their details. Training retrieval. Uh, training will involve searching for the sewers beneath Roland and bringing back the contents of the chest. We'll go do our test. Very good. It looks like you were able to see what was posted without any trouble. I, I would hope so. Like, I mean, if you can't read the bulletin board, you probably should just get out. You're in the wrong school. Checking the bulletin board one of the most basic functions of a printer. Norms on their job. Checking regularly to see whether or not there's there any urgent tasks which need immediate attention is also an important duty for Bracer. Man, all this talk about duty is starting to cramp my style. Sure, there are a lot of rules to follow, but there's an equal level of responsibility in the job for themselves. I think being a Bracer calls for much more than just someone with a half-hearted attitude. I guess you're right. I'll just have to be more motivated. <laughs> so that had a change of heart, have we? You betcha! Well, before all that motivation sneaks off somewhere, let's get to work on your next task. What will we be doing this time? We're heading across the street to Mr. Maldor's Orbital Factory and learning about how to use its services. He has gracefully taken time out of his work schedule to explain things, so make sure to be on your best behavior. Okay. This is, uh, this is kind of one hell of a long tutorial. Here's where you'll learn how to use an Orbital Factor's services. At an orbital factory, you can modify your orbits and synthesize support points in order to use orbital arts. Arts have a wide range of effects, and if master can be extremely helpful. The bracer's business is a pretty risky occupation, but the guilds had a long-standing relationship with these orbital factories. Anyway, this is about as much as I can explain. I'll leave the technical to you to the experts. So, Mr. Melders, if you wouldn't mind taking over here. No problem. Leave everything to me. So, what is it that you would like to know about? Uh, I guess, because I feel like if I don't read them, I'm going to regret it. Orbits are mechanical devices, which exhibit on an array of effects through the installation of various types of ports. By definition, that means the lights, airship, engines, and so on, also types of orbits. However, the ones we'll be discussing today are battle orbits, 
which enhance the user's physical abilities and make it possible to use magic. That's kind of what I figured that they're important. That's why I'm still going through them. Since each ornament is uh, adjusted to match the owner's personal aptitude, the structure for these devices also differ for each owner. Yeah, I think I think you already mentioned that when you're talking. Simply put, the shape of the fixed elements slots and lines which connect them vary at the, any rate. There's a that's the layman's explanation. In order to install courts, you must first have an open slot. By default, the central slot is open, but the other slots must be open at an orbital factory. Like this, I'll take a fair amount of sift too. EP, which is needed for magic, will also see a max increase according to the number of open slots. I recommend opening them all as soon as possible. So, what is it that you would like to know about? You put in the orbital arts of magic, which can be discharged ex <clears throat> exclusively through the use of battle elements. In other words, the normal of filling effects can be produced by using the orbital energy stored within these mechanical devices. Since orbital arts can be a mouthful, that are almost universally referred to as arts. Probably out of. ought to have been called that from the get go. There are several types of arts, but in order to be able to use them, their corresponding ports must just be synthesized at the orbital factory. Ordnance are also set up so that once a particular court is installed into a slot, the owner will be able to. Use those arts. The type of bot one can use also changes depending on the elemental value and the combination of the installed courts. Basically, if you want to use water arts, all you have to do is install courts with the water elemental value. In reality, Obermans are much more complex than that than what I have described. But I think this information would suffice for now. So if you'd like to know. Ports are circuits made from SIF. Ports have a vast number of effects and raise the owner's abilities while simultaneously making it possible for them to use arts. However, you will not be able to harness any of these effects until ports have been installed into a slot. Pick slots, which are I feel like I feel like this is a this is all redundant. I feel like it said this all this information just different wording from the first option. I feel like I haven't learned anything new from the last two things. However, there are also fixed slots in which yeah he already said that. This is being the case. When you synthesize a new court, be sure to check your ornaments and decide where you'll be installing it ahead of time. Sif are fragments of Zephyr, which are dropped from monsters. This, this seems new, at least. They are divided into seven types. Um, crown for Earth, yeah. Oh, there's a space one. Okay. Sif can be exchanged for Mira almost anywhere but at the Orbital Factory. Can be used to synthesize quartz and to open orbit slots in which to install the synthesized quartz. Is it that I'd like to know nothing? Let's go leave. Looks like Mr. Melders has answered all your questions. If there's anything else, let's have you both. Try and use the service here. I'm going to need some SIF. Answer uh, several of each type of elemental SIF. The amount you two should be able to synthesize the new quartz. 
Now I want you to begin the first making of elemental chords that will work with each of your particular organs. In your case, Estelle, any elemental chords is okay. But for you, Joshua, it has to be time elemental chords. Normally at the shop, you'd be able to exchange Sif for Mira, but for this training, you will only be able to use this service. Okay. I mean, yeah, it'd be pretty messed up to trade the Sif that she just gave us for court for money. Modify slash trade. Speed, I mean, speeds tend to be really strong in most games. But yeah, it would be a thing for sure. Um, yeah, I kind of, I thought you'd mention something about there being a bunch of guest characters in this game, but I couldn't remember if that was this one or East. a slot to her. My misunderstanding what they said. Oh, blue will give me a heal. Well, I'm glad they made that clear. This is the menu. Yeah, I don't, I just don't understand how I, uh, unless this isn't where I put things in, I don't put slots in from here. I must be missing something. Yeah, this is just how I put the... I have no idea what the controls are because when I went into the settings, it couldn't tell me what controls were for a PlayStation controller and I didn't want to go get the Xbox one. And there was no option to just change it to this controller. So I just figured I would try to figure it out while I played it. So, you know, just classic Steam stuff. I feel, I mean, when, when I've had the experience with every game I've tried to play on Steam, it, it, it's hard for me to be like, it's the game. I, kn I know it's like just the majority of games on Steam, but it, it feels like every game. You aren't finishing the training yet? Oh shit. She yelled at me. Oh, it says that tier ability? And then I can go down to it and see what it does? Okay. Okay.
I didn't get anything for his thing. I got two spells. It looks like I only got one. I mean, that's... Oh, I see. They're grayed out because I get, I, I, I get it now. I thought I thought I only had access to the ones that were white, but the white men I could use it outside of combat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes more sense. Have I not finished my training yet? I didn't want to open that menu. Uh, oh, I should probably be reading this. I love. You can figure this out by looking at cards, and the courts is literally telling me what you just told me. What have I not done? Oh, is it making, is it gonna make me buy as much as I can? I can't just save them for later? Is that the issue? It didn't look like it could. I already equipped the cords. Yeah, it doesn't definitely does not look like it can open one. Yeah, they take 30 of stuff, which is why I was trying to save them, but it made me think I had to spend them all. That, did it not save when I did this? Or does that not equip them? Oh, I unequipped it by accident. Okay. These controls are going to kill me. There we go. I mean, I mean, not easily, because I have to open a completely another window. I have to look at what the buttons on a place the uh, a Xbox controller is, and then compare them to the controller I'm using. to read that. Oh, now she gave me enough to open, open a slot. Okay. But only one person slot. Minimum slots that you... Your control slot is not limited to a particular element. You are free to install any type of court you like. Your training at the Orbital Factory. Now it's time to move on. What? We've both been waiting for the qualification test. Pardon? Did you just say test? You can't honestly tell me that you forgot about the test again, can you? 
didn't I remind you just this morning? <laughs> now that you mention it, I vaguely remember some sort of talk along those lines at breakfast at the breakfast table. Sometimes I fear for the future of the Bracer Guild and humanity. Oh well, no sense in worrying about that now. Let's head over to the testing area. You mean like now? I don't know if I'm ready for... How about a little less yapping and a little more walking? She got told. Joshua, help me! Mr. Melders, Freddy, thank you for all your help. Don't mention it! And good, good luck with that test of yours! We'll be rooting for you. I'm going to remember that you left me high and dry like this, Joshua! Oh, sell down. All your training has finally come down to this. Your qualification test will begin here. I expect to see you both use what you've learned up to this point. Understood. What's wrong, Estelle? Uh, uh, Shira? What now? I was kind of wondering, but is there not going to be a paper test or something? Did Cassius drop you on your head as a child or something? Just read what it said on the bulletin board. Not that long ago, right? Yeah, and... And I even made you jot down what you read on your bracer notebook, unless you forgot that too. Pretty sure the job listing mentioned searching for and retrieving any item from the sewers. Ring any bells yet? What a relief. Oh, divine idios. I give thanks to thee for thy infinite grace in bestowing upon us such wonderful gifts as sewers. So, what you're really saying is that you thought it was a paper test? No wonder you were acting all crazy back at the Orwell factory. Uh, I can hardly feel the nostalgia. All those horrible days stuck in the classroom are starting to feel like grand memories of tears. I'm really starting to wonder oh, even be able to graduate at all. What's wrong with you? Why do you have to go and say something like that when I'm trying to reminisce about positive things? Alright, that's enough jabbering, you two. This is supposed to be a test. So how about you both, both of you try at least look a little anxious. Just so you know though, you happen to flunk this test. You don't even want to imagine the kind of homework I have in store for both of you. Ah, we'll be fine. Just tell us what you want us to do, and let us loose. Oh, okay, um, I don't really, I don't, I, I might have tried playing with keyboard and mouse, but I don't really care for the setup when I'm streaming, to be fair. I don't, I, like, I have to move my monitor back more, and it's less, less comfortable. Well, you kind of had to. Not, not, I mean, you didn't have to, but yeah, that's what I meant. Well... so confident then how about proving that you're not just blowing hot air with Jeez, I keep yawning like crazy the results of your test anyway as you both saw on the bulletin board this test will be a search conducted in Roland's sewers their objective is to retrieve the contents of a chest which has been placed somewhere within that area the layout of the sewer is extremely simple, so you don't need to worry about getting lost either. However, there are real living, breathing monsters down there, so if you get careless and let down your guard, you'll always be sorry. Also, let me give you this before I forget. Tier Volume 3. Monster Guide. What's this book for? It's 
about a monster guide, and it's used to record information about monsters and other opponents you meet. Whenever you figure out an enemy <clears throat> attribute, you should make an immediate note of that in there. Sounds pretty straightforward to me. <laughs> Who controls the flow of information controls the tide of battle, right? That's exactly what I'm saying. You really got a good head on your shoulders, Joshua. That's some pretty useful advice. Thanks for the tip, Sarah. We'll put it to good use. Alright then. Let's get pumped and knock out this test. Let's. Don't forget though. This is an exam. We should make sure we treat it as such. Your recovery will set up above there. Let's use it. Our HP and ET becomes low before engaging in further battles. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, bad guys. Monster, 12 o'clock! Got it! Monsters should not be seen from afar and they will be visible as you approach them. These conditions at the start of battle change depending on how a monster engages. Engaging an enemy from behind is advantageous while attacking an enemy. Uh, we'll be attacked by an enemy behind this This enemy. This enemy. Okay, two attacks first. Consumed when arts are used, EP can be covered by resting at inns, hostel, and the usual, usual jump. Roger that! 
grass have brains on it, but can utilize instantly CP is gained by dealing out. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, that one definitely seems like it's really good, boosting your strength. Alright, we're good to go. We're definitely good to go. Found a reviving bomb. Kill these weird aliens. Oh, what a surprise! Another creepy thing. Stronger. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Just an easy way to take care of them. One blow using an S craft or S prey to do the trick. Just about any enemy. Catches our CP has to be at least 100 to pull off one of those moves. So use that for particularly hard enemies. S crafts to be immediately on the east while the battle. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I thought I hit the button, but it didn't seem to do it. So I might have must have missed something. So that's the treasure chest we're after, huh? But if we made it this far, the rest is gonna be a piece of cake. to abuse the combat system. I see, so I want to probably kill that one first. The crystal thing. Let's <laughs> oh, HP here. 
よ。Oh shit, I couldn't hit him from there. I should just not do that then. Mistakes were made. I'm sorry. I'm actually gonna lose this because I like stupidly did that. Yeah, I, I, I kind of picked up on that, but I thought, I thought it was there, but I'm just I'm stupid. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got this. Alright, we're good to go. Yeah, I like the I just made a mistake there. Pack some of that those money value attack. That's weird. There's a couple of boxes inside this treasure chest. Not just one, but two. It's kind of interesting, too. I wonder what's inside. Remember, Estelle, our mission is to search for the tree. Search out the tree. Only make sure looking inside those boxes doesn't fall under our mission again. You're no fun at all, Joshua. This has nothing to do with our mission. It's what I like to call good, honest curiosity. You know? Only ones down here. You get away with it. Easy means you keep, right? I feel like flunking today's test. And that all means be my guest. Did you say the F word? The F word! You said the F word! Yes. Opening up those boxes could result in an automatic fail. Hopeless. It's a real job. Myself. Perhaps I have to know what's inside. Why not ask this Rob when I get back? But for now, we need to focus on getting everything. Oh, clock of all that sounds okay. Alright, alright. I kind of figured it's like haste. Kill one of my people. Good work, you two. As you're worth training, I'm going to need to confirm the items in your possession. There are two small boxes. Yep, they're the real deal, all right. I don't see any evidence of tampering either. That was a close one. You would try and set us up like that. Congratulations to the both of you. You've successfully passed your qualification test. You didn't really think something simple would be a problem for us, did you? So, uh, it's rough. What's in those boxes you had us get? It's for me to know, and for you to find out after your training's finished. Enough chit chat for now. So, Back to work. Two. Still have some things left to do. Seriously? But didn't you just say that we passed the test? Still have to learn about how to report the results of your work. I'm aware that you're both tired, but this is no time to sh shirk your duties. Let's get back to the guild. When is this day going to be over? Oh well, no sense in giving up when the finish line is in sight. Agreed. It seems like we're within reaching distance of our goal. Hey, we have fast jumped. Your final training is now to report to the guild. Our 
Whenever you finish a job, it's your duty to report the results of your work to the guild. Reporting how you resolve the situation and the steps you take took to get there are all part of your job as a bracer. You can report the results to the front desk in each guild branch, and as you already know by now, Anna's in charge here at the Rollout Branch. In addition, this is where you'll be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things from both of you. Now that you're here, why don't you both go ahead and report the results of your training. And talk to her and hit the OK button. Report. I'm just not going to talk about her getting knocked out. Good job, you two. It seems like you were able to complete your objective without running into any major problems. Nothing to take note of is that depending on how you handle a job, you may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. When you report the results of your work, you Pay in the form of Mira isn't the only thing you'll receive. You'll also be accumulated points, known as BP Bracer Points. Bracer Points are indicated in your achievement as a bracer. When these points exceed a certain value, you'll advance in rank as a bracer and be rewarded with a piece of special equipment by the guild. The ranks of junior bracer start at 9, all the way up to 1. Please set your sights on making the first rank and work hard. Oh yeah, working hard. Also be recorded in your bracer notebook, but please have a look sometimes later on. All that's left to do now is finalize your training. Let's head upstairs, shall we? Let's talk, talk to you later, Anna. And sorry about putting more work on your plate today than usual. Don't worry about it. Training new bracers is important for the future of the guild. I fully intend to work these two to the bone in any case. To the bone! And knowing Shira, it'll involve the whip. Whoosh! He looked way too happy about that. <laughs> Sorry, mommy. <laughs> Let me say it again. Good work, you two. I have no official complete complaint. <clears throat> Sorry, I've now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you'll be learning from your own real-world experience. Well then. Holds out two small boxes. Aren't those the boxes? In answer to your question, yes, these are the boxes you retrieved during today's test. You seem awfully curious to find out what's inside this, though. You say that it's okay if we open them? That's right. Why don't you both. Why don't both of you have a look and see what's inside? Sweet! Alright, let's have a look. Stella and Joshua open the boxes. Oh, it's the bracer emblems. This quest is. So, does this mean that we're. Mm hmm? Stella Bright, Joshua Bright, beginning this day at 1500 hours, you are both hereby appointed as junior bracers with the Bracer Guild. From here on, you will work as members of the Bracer Guild. To support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace and uphold justice. Congratulations, you two, and welcome into the fold. Did you hear that, Joshua? We become members of the Bracer Guild. So, I'm a Bracer now, huh? I think the realization is only now just beginning to sink in. Come on, Joshua. You should be jumping for joy or running around and screaming at the top of your lungs. Like this. Ah, uh, look at us now, world, we did it! I was happy until you made my eardrums bleed. 
hate to interrupt the celebration still, but I need to take off now. I have some backed up work that needs my immediate attention. We understand. You have been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during this busy time for the guild. Before you head out, Sarah, I just wanted to say thanks. Likewise, I appreciate all the trouble you've been through for us, Sarah. Don't mention it. Any new recruits is one of the bracer's many duties. Believe it or not, I was once in your shoes a long time ago when your father, Cassius, trained me. That's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? That's actually much more to it than that. But I'll save that conversation for another day. As for both of you, work hard to become full-fledged bracers. Early on, so you can help guide those new recruits who come after <coughs> you afterwards. And in time, I hope to see you both become respectable bracers like your father. Anyways, I'll leave you with that thought. She's gonna leave us with that thought. Uh, I just don't get it. Get what? This is Chirazar, aka the Silver Streak, one of the most skilled young bracers we're talking about. So why is it that she holds Dad in such high esteem? He just seems like nothing more than a no-good middle-aged man who's always out doing who knows what instead of being a father. A no-good middle-aged man, huh? your viewpoint, it doesn't come as a surprise that you would see me. You would see him in that fashion. Huh? Never mind. Let's hurry and head home. We should let Dad know that we qualified as junior bracers. Right! Alright, uh... Let's do this before I uh, make it so far and die. Uh, and I'm going to take a quick bio here because I got to use the washroom. But we will be right back.
And I'm back. And, uh, I imagine there's probably nothing I can do here if I just have to go uh, Yeah, I just have to go talk to the dad, obviously. that little kid doing? Hurry up and come look! Wait! Wait for me, Luke! Huh? Oh, it's you two! Oh, great! It's Estelle! Hi there, Joshua! Okay... You little twerps! What's with the... Oh, great, it's a scalar mark. And what's with the big hurry? How about telling us where you're headed? You're not thinking about wandering out of town alone, are you? The roads are full of monsters, I hope you know that. You're such a pest, Estelle. Don't you know there's no room for girls to be sticking their big fat noses in boys' business? Acting like you're a bracer you want to be. Just this. How wrong you are, Luke. How incredibly wrong. No more wrong than a fool who thinks there's better tasting milk in liberal than the milk that comes from the pretzel farm. What? No way! You're full of it, Estelle. In fact, as of just a few minutes ago, we qualified to become real bracers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Real bracers. More like bracers in training, really. I don't think you should be getting on a high horse just yet, Estelle. Now a high pony, on the other hand. Being a killjoy. Ow, you two are great. I'm so happy for both of you. Oh, Pat, you're such a good little boy. Unlike that smart aleck and cynical brat you call a friend. That isn't fair. I was supposed to become a bracer first. Dude, you're like four. Settle down. Grow grow like another foot taller and then like go talk about that. I can accept that Joshua became a bracer before me. But getting passed by the likes of Estelle? Oh man. What's, what's the likes of Estelle supposed to mean? Just so you know, can't even be a bracer until you're 16 years old. Get it? Only mature people allowed. And that means no little kids are still going to Sunday school. I don't know how I should put this, Estelle, but Sunday school is dying to have you back. You better watch it, Estelle. I'm going to go train at my secret base, and before you know it, I'm going to be a bracer too. Come on, Pat, let's go. All right, I'm coming. See you later, Estelle. Bye, Joshua. Man, one little kid's a jerk. That boy, Luke. He's always trying to pick a fight with me. I wonder if he just plain hates me or something. Rather, I think it's the exact opposite. What do you mean by that? Don't worry. It's just a boy thing. Ah, oh, he thinks the boy likes her. Aww. At any rate, what do you think Luke meant when he said secret base? I don't know why, but somehow it makes me a bit curious. I know exactly what you mean. Secret base sounds really interesting, intriguing. The pure heart of a young child can be so inspiring at times. It's not really what I meant, like curious. He's worried about him. He's worried getting into trouble. I thought I'd seen a person in there, but no, it looked like it was just Joshua. Good afternoon, let's see what you got.
Oh yeah, it says we just passed, yeah. Oh my god. This reminds me, I actually have to buy the newspaper. Before I forget. <laughs> They're calling me Hyper Bracer still, oh my god. Yeah, I got the Apple News. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Some of the best narration to date. I got my moments. Although I'm skipping through all this nonsense, it's just not story relevant, so. Although there's a lot of this, so maybe I should have actually read it. Bad recipe book. Now I can make food. Okay. I oh what I'm gonna I'm gonna get you, man. That's that's not cool. Great right, three English. No respect. I need, a, I need a timeout button. Put you in timeout. You just sit down, meals. Yeah, it's like the same as every other game. to shop. Oh, it makes way more sense. Uh, I don't have much money. Okay, so. We're selling these to buy a weapon. It might be. I don't know if I'll have 500 after, uh... That's only 300. Wait, then. Wait until I buy a weapon for both of them. I want to head home. I don't know where home is. This is I don't think home. This is someone else's home, probably. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not where I need to be. It's a hotel, so that's not where I need to be either. Apartment buildings. That's different. That's the factory. Oh, good store. Oh. Oh, hi, Aina. Something wrong? You seem to be in a quite a hurry. Got a bit of a problem. Is your father at home today? Yes, he is. He said something about having to sort out a bunch of documents. 
But what's going on? No. Luke and Pat, right? Sure we do. In fact, we saw them not too long ago. What's wrong? Are they in some sort of trouble? No. I say this, but I just heard from Uni that Luke and Pat ran off the tower that lies on the northern outskirts of Roland. You mean the tower of Ismailis? Isn't that place supposed to be a breeding ground for monsters? That's what they say. Unfortunately, at the moment, Chazard is out on other bracer business, so I want to ask your father to bring the boys home safely. What are you talking about? There's no time for that. Josh and I will go after them. Bring them back. I don't know if they're such a good idea. The two of you only just qualified to be junior bracers today. With all due respect, I believe that Estelle's judgment is correct in this situation. The two of us hurry. We may even be able to catch up with the boys before they reach the tower. I understand. I will take responsibility for whatever happens. As an emergency request from the Bracer Guild, I ask that you lose no time in bringing them Bring about the safe return of these children. Roger that! Understood. The Smell's Tower can be reached by taking the western path at the junction along the Malga Trail. You can get into the Malga Trail through Roland's Northwest Gate. I'll be on standby at the Guild, so if you run into any trouble, you know where to find me. This is our first real job. Come on, Joshua. We don't have any time to lose. I'm right behind you. I knew that. I knew where I was going. I was just testing you. I, I, apparently, that's... that's Not how that works. Um. <coughs> My still managed to go the wrong way. I thought I went. I thought I went northwest already. I don't understand. Yeah, if this is this right here, that's going south, I guess. This is going north. Is this northwest then? That's a small gate where. That's that's what I figured. Next to the landing port. So if the north was in the top, this would be west, and I don't know how to go up on an angle, so I was just kind of guessing this was northwest. That and I already gone to a exit up top, so. Uh, that's it there. Okay, I thought I already went through this exit, so that's also part of the problem. I already tried to go through that exit, rather. I saw this map, but I don't think that was the map you meant. I 
they said it was the entrance of the side was by this. So it's probably not this entrance though. I didn't even see that thing. Yeah. Oh, bam! Yeah. Oh no, they're beating me up. Voice acting in combat. Why isn't it voice acting uh, outside of combat? Well, the only reason why I didn't focus my attack there was because I didn't think she could get to. They could both get to the same target. But you mean like move them somewhere? But the enemy can't come close to me, and then... That's probably what I assume you mean. Yeah, no, it's kind of what I figured you meant. I also figured they wouldn't necessarily come closer to me in, in all cases. Oh. And some just don't attack you like this thing. Or couldn't get close right. enough to, or We're whatever, right? good to fight some of them now instead of later. Oh, I got way too close to that. Uh, they can attack from very far away. Actually, uh, I didn't realize my bar was full. I was thinking of a couple of levels ago, and I did, or a couple battles ago, when he, I seen him, he was at like 89 or 80 something. And I was like, oh, that'll go up soon. And then I, uh, 
Brother. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, I kind of figured that out anyways. <laughs> Alright, we're good to go. That was actually definitely longer than it probably needed to be. I haven't, didn't notice if something popped up or not, but I'll keep an eye out for it. I guess the idea is that it wants me to probably range them down, eh? It's probably the, the play, and I'm just being stubborn and not doing that. That didn't work out. We're good to go. Probably don't want to be wasting this item this early, but it happened. I kind of figured that, but I didn't think I was actually going to finish it, so. One of them does. I don't know if this if he can just not hit me if I run that far away. Looks like that might have been a thing.
I am a revival one, okay. Do I want to? I probably don't want to go to the mine because I have to go to the tower, so let's go to the tower then. I just figured I didn't have enough stuff to do that yet. The only, the only issue with them is they're so far away, they're ranged, and they knock you back when they hit you. Let's move out. So, I mean, even with a fire thing, I don't have... I, like, I'm already out of EP with Estelle. I was literally just did the strength one as you type that. Alright, I was kind of hoping when I leveled I would just get everything back. I was also kind of hoping there was like a chest or something over here that I was missing. Oh shit. Yeah, the map is definitely like Rondia. I just fucked up. Not now. We're good to go. I remember having that issue where I wouldn't notice characters' enemies were chasing me until it was too late. not looking he has one HP. Yeah I know I, I know that I just didn't see them until it was too late. He was already behind me when I seen him. That's what I'm trying to do is go back to him. I definitely probably should save for sure. I should probably buy those new weapons I was thinking of buying too. If I have money to buy them now anyways. Hmm. 
no idea what that store even is anymore. gonna buy weapons, not uh performance. Oh, I thought I put something in both of them already. Apparently not. Let's increase but lowers the fence. just be like a big circle on the map, but... I can't go that way anyways. I have no idea where that sewer is, so, and that's the only place I know where to heal. Oh, there's a hotel and it won't let me stay. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Well. Side quest too. 
Uh, no current job listings, even though that made it look like there was by having an exclamation mark there. But I guess that's just telling me I can click on it. That new rod. Alright, let's attempt number two. Yeah, I'm there, yeah. Now the worst part is, as the same same thing that frustrates me about Grandia. If you're one of the people behind you runs into them, that should count as them running into them, not me running. He was facing it. It should not have been an ambush. I have both. Ah. Take 
I'm convinced I can't even raise that. Poster. And now start. of them along the trails. So, do you think they've wandered inside? It's quite likely if that's the case. Let's go in. It looks like we'll need to hurry. Right. Baby, we're only on the first floor of this place. Did you hear that? He really did come in here. Still, are you all right? Look, oh, hi. You can hear me now. Answer me now. Those little brats. Are they pretending they can't hear me? They might have climbed up to the second floor. Hurry and see if we can find them. Uh, definitely think they climbed the second floor. That was all to the second floor. What are you gonna do? Somebody help! Let's go, Joshua! Wait, I've got your back. There's a bunch of bad guys. Unless there's, there's somewhere else. No, shoot, shoot, leave us alone! Chew on this! Estelle, what are you doing here? Joshua, you're here too! Get back, you two! These monsters aren't playing around. We'll take care of them. Protect all NPCs. If an NPC is an H with zero, it's game over. Oh, I'm definitely going to beat the 
kids up? Yeah, definitely beat the kids up. That's what you meant, right? Beat the kids up? Then, uh, they look evil. I believe it. This is the things that like getting closer to the monster. Did it want to die? I barely got by that. I'm more I should get in here than fighting that pseudo boss. It looks like that. It's that. Well, I'm glad everyone's safe too. By the way, that was great timing. Wait, you blitz, blitz those monsters, Estelle. You really think so? Is it safe now? Oh man, that was awesome! You really showed them, Estelle! Not bad for a girl. Little twerp. Ow, that hurt! What are you trying to do to me? What's wrong with you? You even dragged poor Pat all the way here against his will. to think about what you did today. Ow, you're hurting me. Stop! I said stop it, you violent she-devil. So, this is the thank I get for saving your neck, huh? Looks like it's time to give you some of my special discipline. Oh, ow, ow, ow. All right, Estelle, I'm sorry. Everything was all my fault. <clears throat> um, Estelle we forgive each other like they teach us at school? Just practice the need for kids. But a little discipline should do the trick. What's that thing? Estelle, behind you! Some creepy thing sneaking up on her. It's something with feet, isn't it? Hmm. Nice monster. Damn! There's Cassius. Huh? Dad, you came! You still lack skill and understanding. You must always prepare for unseen danger by sharpening your senses. That's part of what it means to be a bracer. Dad! What are you doing here? I just happen to be in town. And I heard the whole story from my mom. I'll give you points for your quick thinking and taking action to come after the children. But you failed to follow through completely. I really messed up, didn't I? It's a good thing you showed up when you did. I'm sorry. I should have been watching her back. That just means you have room for improvement. Constantly working to overcome your Spots is the key. Understood. So, how about we head home, everyone? Can you boys walk? I, I think so. That was incredible, Mr. Bright. You were like a zillion times more awesome than Stal. <laughs> of course I was. I'm her father. All right, everyone. Let's file on out to you. I'm with you, Mr. Bright. You got told, Stell. Who's the glory hog now? I mean, I guess I should be thankful that Dad saved me. I'd be honored. But why does he have to go and take all the credit like that? Really chaps my hide. <laughs> That's just the way he is. After all, he is Cassius Bright.
seems like you've had quite a day. <laughs> that is just unbelievable. The second we got back to Roland, he says, I'll leave the reporting to you, and takes off for home. The sheer nerve, I tell ya. Uh, I'm not even tired. I just keep yawning, man. I don't even know. Like, I don't feel tired. I just keep yawning. Posture check. I'm slipping. Ugh. There's no need to make a mountain of a molehill over it. At least the boys came back safe and sound. Anyway, I think that's all there is to report. Oh boy. Oh, that money. You did well for your first assignment. Because of your report alone, I believe I can command you both for a job well done. Um... I don't think that's supposed to be there. It's something I... installed for YouTube and then accidentally attached Twitch to as well. But basically it's like a sub-app for the chats that adds emotes. So like if I didn't already have emotes through sneak through Twitch, then I could use that for like my community to have emotes. Yeah, I'll have to look at what that is. It might it might be editing an emote actually. But I could be wrong. Yeah, I would ignore it. I'll have to look at what it is. Probably get rid of it. should be proud of yourselves. You really think so? I know so. In fact, it'll be even better on your next job. I had someone pop in and said hey. A while back. If anything else comes up, I would appreciate your help again. Actually, I shouldn't say hey. They said good luck. <laughs> With an exclamation mark. Sure. I bet we had home too. Doesn't matter. It's all the same. I guess. I guess because of Twitch's rules, I guess it's easier for Twitch. But because if I have them on both, then I have to make sure I'm not prioritizing YouTube over Twitch or whatever their weird rules are. I still got dinner to prepare. Do you mind holding a second? A letter arrived for your father just a while ago. Like, I guess like, most of it's fine. I just, I don't understand why I can't just combine chats. Because then I can just get an add-on that combines chats. And that would make that so much easier. But it is what it is. Unfortunately, since he went straight home, I never had a chance to give it to him. Do you think you could deliver it instead? A letter to Kipsius. I wonder if it's more work-related stuff. I imagine so. The letter appears to be from one of our foreign branches. Oh? One of the guild's foreign branches? As I'm sure you already know by now, Liberal isn't the only current country where the Brazer Guild exists. On top of that, your father is widely known all across Zamarian content. So we can't expect these kinds of letters. <clears throat> we can't expect these kind of letters from time to time. You two would be so kind as to make sure he gets it, this letter. I would appreciate it. I guess so. I guess I could have bought stuff, but that's fine. Hey, Joshua. Hmm? I'm really cut out to 
be a bracer? Well, you seem to have inherited your father's skill with the staff. And your... Nosy personality doesn't let you ignore someone in distress. Uh, I mean, I checked when I was doing that other quest. There was nothing there, but I didn't check now. Really? You think so? Sure, but why are you asking? Are you still thinking about what happened back at the tower? Because of my carelessness, Luke almost got caught in the middle of a dangerous situation. My dad hadn't come when he did. He could have been seriously injured. I guess I'm just worried about whether or not I'll be able to stay on top of things in the future. That kind of talk doesn't sound like they still I know. Failed today, and all that's left to do is back our losses tomorrow, right? Let's take back our losses tomorrow, right? Overthinking or anything things that haven't happened yet is definitely not like you. This is being a bracer they always dreamed of? How can you expect to succeed if you have something like that? Even like what happened today is courage. Far more natural than him. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I see my anger and his pressure to keep that up. <laughs> okay, I admit, that last comment was pushing things a bit. I'm overlooking this time. Thanks for cheering me up. I don't know about you, but I'm so ready to get home again. My stomach just started growling like a bear. Maybe glutton is closer to bark than dits. Yeah, no current jobs. So I was going to buy a weapon for Joshua. if I can or not. I didn't really notice. I do have a beastry. I'm not sure where that is, though. Files, maybe? No. No, files, my save. I knew that. That is... In the other menu? Okay. this over between these two I mean I seem to be able to switch between these two things maybe I got a thing later that's the these are my missions that I've completed but yeah, I imagine there's probably just another page of this, page of this at some point. Like, it talked about a beastry, but I don't know if I've received it yet. Yeah, let's 
path to the poison. Yeah. Okay, so... Gosh, watch, I can't open that. No, I was going to. I was just seeing if I could get the black one. I was, I was part of me was hoping I could trade different colors around, but then I didn't actually think I was going to be able to. I was just being really hopeful. Sounds like a pain in the ass. Right, let's go to my home. Let's go home! Get yelled at by daddy, probably. Eat some dinner, have some jokes. Once I get to the cactus of the game, I can farm a bit. We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. The details of your reports will be reviewed in each branch and will affect your pay and rank advancements in the future. Please make sure that you always remember to do it. Don't worry, we will. And before I forget, I got that copy of Liberal News you wanted. There was this letter for you at the guild, too. Hi, avoidance card. Isn't that just the thing with cactus? A letter, huh? Well, I'm going to get cleaned up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad? Um, thanks for coming when you did today. You really helped me out back there. I see you're being rather gracious with me. Papa is happy. How delightful that my daughter has finally understood what a great man her father truly is. There's no need to hold back, Estelle. Come and jump into your father's loving arms. In your dreams. I swear, the men in this house have one thing in common. They never know when to shut up. Oh, someone got salty. I guess she's not as impressed as I had thought. Should I be thanking you, Joshua? I didn't do much. I just gave her a push in the right direction. Estelle's in the sink. Get me. Yes, she is. But... Still has a long way to go. To run into more than just a few stumbles blocks in the line of work. But overcoming those obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own two feet. There's that soft side of yours talking again. Oh no! Are eggs supposed to explode like that? Oh no. I guess I shouldn't have gone and expected to make a perfect meal in a single try. No, wait. Cooking is supposed to be a passion. Exploding eggs are passionate, right? Now, once more. That daughter of mine can sometimes be a little too passionate. We'll go help with dinner. We don't want the curtains to catch fire again. But at this rate, there's no telling. When we can expect to have a bite of food ready on the dinner table. 
buy our curtains. <laughs> all right then. Let's see what this letter's all about, shall we? Oh. This is where the plot's gonna start. That's the letter seal. Hmm, a message from the... Erbonian Empire. What? What, what, what? Wow, this is a surprise. This new dish is what I call Estelle Explosion Over Ice. Be sure to savor every last morsel. I will. Your cooking this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> this is a raw talent at its best. Today certainly has been a busy day. Great day nonetheless. We qualified as junior bracers. We had our first real assignment. And I didn't even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. Not to mention the food being delicious. For our first attempt, this dish is actually quite edible. First, I thought I might have a hit it out the window when you weren't looking. But it seems that technique won't be necessary tonight. Yeah, I can kind of see that. It, that feels a little slower than Grandia was. But, um... I, I mean, I don't think that's necessarily true because, like, Grandia felt fast because a lot of things were happening, but none of them were relevant. If that makes sense. Because, like, nothing's relevant to the story of that game until basically... I mean, you meet Fina, I guess that's kind of relevant. But then nothing else is really relevant until... Basically when Sue leaves. <laughs> just before, I guess. Sometimes you're just so despicably rude, Dad. Don't you know how to... How to be humble and just say something tastes nice? Alright. Then, how about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before I had to leave on business. You made a splendid meal, Estelle. Thanks, Dad. Wait, business? Are you really leaving again? Yes. Something's unexpected come up this time. I'm going to be away for a while. Hold on a minute. You're leaving? When? Tomorrow morning. But I don't care what kind of job you're doing. That's just too soon. It's about the letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. Just a simple investigation. He's lying. I'll have to visit a number of places. It'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case, please take good care of the house while I'm gone. Okay. I, I mean, I guess... Like, uh, like, I mean, Grandia at the end was kind of like that, too, because even though you have, like, Sue for a large chunk of the game, like, it's just Justin and Fina are the only ones that are always there. I mean, I guess even technically Fina, for a small part, isn't there. But I guess that's just because she gets, like, captured and stuff. That's not with the intention of her leaving your party for pretty much permanent points. What do you mean? That... That's being the case. You always use some vague excuse like that and take off for who knows how long. You have to accept it, Excel. A bracer's job is to help those who come to us for help. I know, I know. But what are you going to do about all your jobs here at Roland Branch? You've already accepted a few of them, haven't you? Oh, only about five or six. No, for sure, yeah. Yeah. It's 
12. I was thinking, and? How about the both of you handle them for me instead? What? Are they really asking us to do the work that you're supposed to be doing? That I am. I'll have you do the ones which I think you can accomplish, and I'll ask Shirazar to handle the difficult ones. So what do you think, say? Sure, obviously. Sure, of course we will. You're okay doing those too, right, Jas Joshua? I almost called him Justin, because we can't talk about Grania. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Looks like a good way to get some experience as a bracer. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let Diana know about the change of the plan before I leave. Alright, I'm starting to feel more determined than ever. I have to bust our <clears throat> tails with these jobs so we don't tarnish your name while you're gone. Oh, Estelle, my beloved daughter, Papa Sombra. Oh, my dear Lena. Martin heavens, can you see your daughter now? Our little Estelle has grown up to be such a lovely young woman. Uh, yeah, I can kind of see that. Like, she's definitely, like, the kind-hearted, uh, but, like, kind of goofy and a little dim-witted. Thanks to Dad, you're getting old. If people lose their trust in you at this age, you might as well just throw in the towel forever. I'm only helping you out because I'm your daughter, and I have a duty to pay back for the last 16 years. I, I'm only 45, and what's more, I'm very likely the most active member in this entire guild. Not bad for a pair of comedians. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? One headed for Grancel, or the one headed for Bofs? I'll be on the one headed for Grand Salle. My flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little earlier tomorrow. Better set my alarm clock just in case. He leaves in the middle of the night. No goodbyes. Lemons, have a good night too, man. You must, uh, you must have some work early. You're shipping off or a little earlier than usual. Nah, I'm not complaining. That's not me complaining. <laughs> I'm not like Sahara. who would jump at any chance to enjoy a drink for ten. <laughs> she holds on liquor much better than I do. There's something really serious happening, isn't there? some sort of movement within the Empire. An Emperor? Sounds pretty suspicious. This movement doesn't appear to be a overt, but that's what has me moved. I intend to do a little probing at the Arubian Embassy to see what turns up. Understood. I'll make sure to look after Estelle while you're gone. Don't you spoil that girl, you hear me? Now that he's become a bracer, she needs to learn to look after herself. Still be fine. She's got good instincts, and despite being a bit rough around the edges, she has talent with the staff as well. No doubt my mind 
that she'll be first class bracer someday. And at the present, she's like a babe in arms who knows nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which part to follow. Joshua, the same can be said for you too. It's already been five years since you've become a part of this family, hasn't it? How time does fly. Yeah. Sure, it does seem that way. But what you said back then, are you sure you won't consider taking those words back? For me, keeping my word is what defines who I am. I can't do something as simple as that. I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may sound stubborn, but take back what I said. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. But I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you choose in life, you can't erase this past five years. Stella and I will always be your family. No matter what may befall you. Thanks, Dad. What'd he say five years ago? That was a prologue? Father's love, a new beginning. Wasn't even a chapter, that was a prologue. Makes that make sense. It was long for a prologue. See the old man off. Well, it looks like it's time for me to board my flight. So, look to anything myself and try to not to be a handful for Joshua either. For the umpteenth time I heard you already. How about you try not to go overboard yourself with your own work? You're not getting any younger, you know. Say what you want, but I'm not about to be overtaken by any youngsters. Jazard, I'm really sorry about placing all this work on your shoulders at this last minute. Don't be. I'm slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a decent job in your place. That's no I'm a selfish And I don't mean to make your life more difficult than Keep an eye on this, too. You just leave that to me. Is <clears throat> tightening up the reins not spoiling these two fine with you? You definitely understand the way I live. What's this all about? <laughs> Looks to me like a mutual understanding between master and pupil. The Grand Shell Ground Airline leaves. We departing shortly. All passengers, please aboard the airship now. Oh, I'd better take my seat. Have a great trip, Dad. We'll take care of everything here while we're gone. Hello, Dad. I'm not sure where you will be going, but don't forget to bring me back a souvenir. A little fancy something would be nice. Hey, dude. This trip is for business, not the pleasure. And if I have any money left over, I'll certainly think about it. I'll let you too. Be good while I'm gone. You better bring the princess presents. Come on now. You're not a little boy this time. That's messed up. I don't know what kind of investigation this man has to do. 
this time, but when it comes to your father, you'll have it done before you know it. I'm not sad that he's gone. He's always been away more than he's been here at home. Alright, alright. You say so. Hey, how's it going, Pocket Princess? Are you having a good weekend? Anyway, I'm going to get to work on those jobs your father left for me. If you run into any trouble, give me a holler. Will do, but first, I'd like to try and finish a few jobs with Joshua. I want to see what we're capable of doing as junior braces. Alright, if you insist. I imagine that with Joshua tagging along, probably not much to worry about. Good luck, with you. Thanks! We'll do our best. So, what do I do now, Stella? Yeah, we Shall we stop by the guild? Yeah, we should probably talk to Anna and find out what jobs are waiting for us. Let's go! Uh, I think this is the way out. Is that the way? Oh no. That's really weird. So while you're at the point where you have to bounce off them to go up the wall? And they're not loading in? Um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's very odd. Did you leave the area and then go back, maybe? Maybe it just got a, kind of a little bug? And I don't remember anything like that happening when I was playing it. But that would definitely make that a lot more difficult. The guild hall's right here, right? Yeah. Oh, good morning, Estelle and Joshua. Has your father already left? Yep, just barely. That's why we came here to find out, out about the jobs he left for us. Sure. There are a total of three jobs I have lined up for you. For the first one, I'd like you to head out to the farm west of here. The farm west of here? Isn't that where Tio lives? Oh, weird. Yeah, it must just be an odd bug. Yep. I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Gio Parzell. She was one of our classmates at Sunday school. She's also the pretzel farm's owner's daughter. Really? Actually, the pretzel farm that's put in their quest to have someone exterminate some monsters. Are, you, are they really having problems like that? Fortunately, no one has been hurt, but Yonor and his family are upset for their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Therefore, the guild received an extermination request. I never would have expected something like that to happen. Okay. We'll head out there right away. that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tio's father pretty well, so I don't think this is necessary, but we'll take it just in case. You never know when Walter might need one. Come on now. Uh, find the shiny rock. Milchman Road Monster. Pine plant has been spotted roving the Milchman Road. Braces for the branch. Press the video with the thread immediately. Uh, I'd like someone to find a shiny rock 
Please speak to me directly for details. Alright. So talk to this guy for details. Is that you, Estelle and Joshua? Could you not bother my while I'm working? But I guess you're old enough that I don't have to tell you that, huh? And you're racist. Now that's nothing else has changed my mind with the kids. Looks like the airliner bound for the Royal City is back post arrived. Um, which... Did I say I'd talk to one of them? The client is Charles. Who the hell is... where the hell is Charles? Oh, Charles is a little here. Okay. This is really weird. Where could I have gone? Oh, excuse me, but... Can I ask you something? I... You didn't see a shiny rock around here anywhere, did you? Huh? A shiny rock? Yeah, that's right. One that sparkles. In the fake menu? You didn't see a rock like that lying around anywhere, did you? Are you saying you lost something? Uh, I don't recall seeing anything like that. You know where you might have dropped it? My mom was calling for me, so I ran over to the general goods store where she was. I knew I had it in my hand at the time, but when I came back here, it was gone. Obviously, that's the first place I look. I don't need to treat me like a kid, you know. But are you a charmer? Well, I already asked the Bracer Guild to help find it, so I'm sure I'll show up sooner or later. You do happen to come across it, give me a holler straight away. I'll probably be around. around here. Oh, hey, it looks like uh, Lean just arrived at the landing port. I'm sure the products I ordered for the boats have come in. I'll pick them up. Hey, he didn't tell me anything. Does he have it to buy?
to the sewer. funny. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe it, uh... Because you use spells, you're less likely to hit them, and I just got lucky. Yeah, that's probably what it is. At least I have increased evasion against, uh... Look at the map here. I thought I could. Oh, I okay. Ooh, that rock is Imagine that shiny rock is at kids. It's like 
who else is with me? Hey, is that my rock? Could it be that? This is the rock you've been looking for? Yep, this is the one, my shiny rock. Why is it all dirty like this? Hey, do you have something else to say before you complain? You guys have bracelets, right? I've already paid your money to the guild. Therefore, I think I have the right to complain. That's not the problem here. Calm down, Estelle. He's just a kid. I know that, but... This quartz is what you were looking for, right? Yeah, that's the one. This rock is really quartz? You mean the same kind of quartz that's in the ornament? Yep, same kind of quartz made of sip. It's chips, so it doesn't function anymore. I see. So this rock belonged to an orb? What's wrong? You seem a bit out of it. Who? Me? Oh, it's nothing. I'm glad you found it. I guess that's about it then. Oh, that reminds me. I must fry here, take this. See, drill me ball five. My mom gave me these to me and tells me that they're healthy, but kinda of bitter, so I can't stand them. Anyway, I appreciate what you did for me today. Seriously, what a cheeky little kid. I'm sure it's a difficult age for him, but I wonder why he was searching for that quartz. What do you mean? Now you mention it, it does seem a little strange. But, oh well, everyone has something they think is important. True, words can't... Truer words couldn't be spoken. Perhaps that kid has an interest in orbits. I, for one, don't see what's so interesting about those overall complex gadgets. My brain goes numb just thinking about them. Except the fact that you'll have to get used to them sooner or later. You won't be able to fulfill your job as a bracer if you can't use them. Alright, alright, I'll try and learn. Alright. Now, what did I get for that? Found the shiny rock. It gave me like nothing. Fine plan. I think I'm already fighting those. actually gone this way yet. I think I'm stuck out on me. I if I tried to. I was wrong there.
have that. I'll kill this one. Pow pow. This monster known as a pine plant has been spotted. Is it just gonna be like sitting in the middle? Stand still the top monsters? Okay. Oh, whoops, I wasn't paying attention to what I should be doing. No, I, no I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Never mind. Never mind. I'm doing what I want to do, anyways. First fight them anyways. Okay. They just both looked said they were easy, so I just figured I was fine to do them.
Oh, I got a chest. That's a lot of monsters. Holy shit. I definitely probably should have used this speed up for sure. Maybe I got away with some shit though. Bonus. Let's not open this chest. Yeah, no, I, I, I know you can see your CP up. I didn't realize there was like a boss chest there. Well, I shouldn't say boss chest. Strong place. Save before each chest. What what is this what is this like the first Final Fantasy games? I know I could have saved at the end, but I came across this and came on by the Let's try to find that plant thing again. I'm the wrong spot. Okay. 
I just I wasn't gonna touch it. I just didn't see it, and I was like, uh, what happened to that chest? He got me in the back for a minute. I wonder if I just have to kill them all, like all the ones that are here. And I need that finish the quest. I don't even know if these are what those pine things are. There's a side quest I have to kill, uh, something that sounds like it's a plant that's in this area. Monster, uh, a ferocious monster known as the Pine Plant. The bridge checkpoint still point of the part of the map, the road. Is that part of what I'm doing wrong? Yeah, Milch Main Road is the name that's covered by my head. Pretty obvious. <laughs> well, I figured it was just like an elite mob that was fighting. Nothing. 
Not like a giant boss, but something noticeable on you is what I figured. Places that for sure I have been able to, not at all. It's not talking about the thing in the chest, is it? No. Okay. Is that it? It's just a different color? What is that? That. Am I gonna just have to keep killing enemies until it spawns then? If it's a rare mob? Okay, I'll retake the road. This is still considered me and Milch Road. 
Mills Main Road, so. It's probably somewhere in here then. All good. You definitely baited me, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have uh, things for it, though, if it's a difficult fight. Full, full. Special attack, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, you better run, I killed your friends. What are you gonna do? Takes my the amount I have over a hundred too, eh? Oh, shit, I thought it was gonna leave me at 57 when I did that. Alright. Lesson learned. This bug sucks. Oh wow, I didn't even kill it. I'll put his hits on. Does the I should be able to see it from the road still count? You think so? Okay. And does it just look like one of these then? Because no, none of these have moved. Like, ever. Uh, 
Kill herself since so she's getting beat up. Well. Let's see if this is considered. Yeah, this is still considered male train mode. Those things you're talking about, though. Piece of cake. Oh, I need both put up 100 CP. Okay. Is that it? Is this it? Why do I think this is a mistake? That's me cut. Kind of bad. Play head twice though. Twice is gonna do a good chunk of damage. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Alright, that just got less, uh... I just fucked up. Wow! Hard me thinks she knew that was gonna happen. You can even replay the fight. I I I mean I saved not that long ago, so. How big's the range on him? Not now. 
Not one of them. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of that tonight, man. I'm getting a lot of that tonight. <laughs> Should have moved my dude back. Took your word for it. I, oh my guy's dead. And I don't have a revival item. Farm the sparkle bunnies, that doesn't sound fun. It probably should be easier to go in this store and do this than it is to go to the inn. Especially when I don't know where the inn is. I'm moving slow in this game, man. Alright, where's the guild? Right here. Oh, I got a report, right? That's how I, uh... You got some money. I figured that I got information. What information? What? See if I can unlock a slot first, but yeah. I have the wrong care. I had the wrong character selected, didn't I? I did have the wrong character selected. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Oh, this like this. Oh, this is cooking. Okay, but it actually opened. I imagine it usually is. Food is tends to break, make or break things sometimes. And when there's cooking mechanics and jerry juice. Really cheap and nice. Uh, 
especially based on the goddess, prevents poison, prevents by influence. Buy two leather boots for now, probably. Rings? Rings are important, you think? Is uh, the best way to go? I definitely have one that stops sleep. It's 500. Jesus. I don't even know if any of this is really worth it right now. Farm bunnies for them. Yeah. But either way, uh, I think I'm gonna save here because it's almost 11, and I usually go till 11. So we're gonna we're gonna call that there, and we'll pick uh, we'll pick back up at this tomorrow. Okay. That sounds pretty, pretty good. But, um... Yeah, so, uh... Well, good night, everyone. We'll be back at this tomorrow. When I fight a monster, it draws this bell, farm four. So then I have four for the entire game. Is that the idea? Yeah, that's okay, yeah. And I get the two back every time I lose somebody. All right, well, like I said, be back at this tomorrow. Um, took, a, took a bit getting into it, but the combat's definitely fun. I think I'll definitely enjoy this game. That that tutorial was definitely longer than, than expected, though. All right, take care, everyone.